The moon, our constant companion in the vast expanse of space. For millennia, it has captivated humanity, inspiring poets, guiding navigators and fueling our dreams of exploring the cosmos. But have you ever stopped to wonder where this celestial neighbor came from? Scientists believe that the moon was born from a cataclysmic collision between a young Earth and a Mars-sized object billions of years ago. The debris from this cosmic crash coalesced over time, eventually forming the moon we know and love today. This shared history makes the moon more than just a pretty face in our night sky. It is a celestial sibling, forever linked to our planet's story. The moon's presence affects us here on Earth in ways we might not even realize. Its gravitational pull is the driving force behind our planet's tides, causing the rhythmic rise and fall of ocean levels that we observe every day. But the moon's influence doesn't stop there. It also plays a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's axial tilt, which is responsible for our planet's seasons. Without the moon's steadying influence, Earth's tilt would be subject to chaotic variations, leading to unpredictable and extreme climatic shifts. In essence, the moon is the silent guardian of our seasons, ensuring a stable and habitable environment for life on Earth to thrive. The moon, our celestial companion, seems so constant, so eternal. But what if this familiar sight was suddenly replaced by a terrifying spectacle? What if the moon, instead of peacefully orbiting our planet, was hurtling towards us on a collision course? It sounds like something out of a science fiction film, but the possibility, however remote, is a stark reminder of the awesome power of the cosmos and the vulnerability of our seemingly secure world. Let's delve into this hypothetical scenario and explore the catastrophic chain of events that would unfold. The very notion of our moon, the celestial body that has graced our skies for billions of years, transforming into a harbinger of destruction is a sobering thought. Before the catastrophic impact, our world would begin to experience the unsettling effects of the moon's rogue gravity. As the moon draws closer, its gravitational pull on Earth would intensify dramatically. This would wreak havoc on our planet's delicate equilibrium. Tides would no longer be the gentle ebb and flow we are accustomed to. Instead, coastal regions would be inundated by monstrous tides dwarfing anything ever witnessed in human history. The very land masses themselves would begin to distort and stretch under the relentless pull of the approaching moon. The once familiar celestial dance between Earth and moon would devolve into a deadly embrace, with gravity as the weapon of choice. A Section 5 the day the Earth stood still. Imagine a moment so cataclysmic that it would forever alter the course of our planet's history. The moment of impact would be an extinction-level event unlike anything Earth has experienced in its four and a half billion year history. The collision would unleash forces beyond our comprehension, a cataclysm that would dwarf even the most violent volcanic eruptions and asteroid impacts that have shaped our world. The energy released from the collision would be unimaginable, instantly vaporizing vast swaths of the Earth's surface and turning the atmosphere into a furnace of superheated gas. Firestorms would rage uncontrollably, sweeping across continents and incinerating everything in their path. The sky would be filled with ash and smoke, blocking out the sun and plunging the world into darkness. Earthquakes of unprecedented magnitude would ripple through the planet's crust, splitting continents, swallowing land masses and reshaping the very geography of our world. The ground would heave and crack, creating massive fissures that would swallow entire cities. Tectonic plates would shift violently, causing mountain ranges to rise and fall in a matter of moments. Tsunamis, towering miles high, would surge across the oceans, obliterating everything in their path. These colossal waves would sweep away coastal cities, forests, and farmlands, leaving nothing but devastation in their wake. The sheer force of the water would reshape coastlines and alter the very map of the world. The once vibrant blue and green sphere we call home would be transformed into a scene of unimaginable devastation. From space, Earth would appear as a charred and barren wasteland, a stark contrast to the thriving planet it once was. The remnants of human civilization would be scattered and broken, a testament to the fragility of our existence. The very fabric of Earth's structure would be torn asunder, leaving behind a scarred and molten remnant. The surface would be cracked and glowing with molten lava a haunting reminder of the planet's violent transformation. This apocalyptic vision serves as a sobering reminder of the forces that shape our world and the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. 
Section 6, The Aftermath, A World Transformed. In the wake of the cataclysm, the Earth would be a shadow of its former self. The atmosphere, choked with dust and debris would be rendered almost unbreathable. The once familiar blue sky would be replaced by a perpetual twilight, as sunlight struggles to penetrate the thick veil of debris. The oceans, if any remain, would be boiling cauldrons of toxic sludge, their once teeming ecosystems utterly annihilated. The very land itself would be reshaped, with new mountain ranges thrust up from the depths and vast impact craters scarring the surface. The earth, once a cradle of life, would be transformed into a hellish and desolate wasteland, a testament to the destructive power of cosmic events. Section 7. Life Finds a Way. The question of whether life, even in its most resilient microbial forms, could survive such an apocalyptic event remains a point of scientific speculation. Scientists have long been fascinated by the resilience of life, especially microorganisms known as extremophiles. These hardy creatures thrive in environments that would be utterly inhospitable to most forms of life, such as boiling hot springs, acidic lakes, and even radioactive waste. The extreme temperatures, toxic atmosphere and lack of sunlight in the aftermath of the impact would present an insurmountable challenge to even the hardiest of Earth's extremophiles. The immediate aftermath would likely see a world shrouded in darkness, with the sun obscured by a thick veil of dust and debris. Volcanic eruptions would spew toxic gases into the atmosphere, creating a hostile environment that would test the limits of survival. Some scientists theorize that deep below the Earth's surface, where geothermal vents provide warmth and energy, life might find a way to cling on. These vents, located on the ocean floor and in underground caves, release heat and minerals that could sustain microbial life. In these isolated pockets, shielded from the cataclysm above, life might endure against all odds. These subterranean havens, shielded from the worst of the surface devastation, could offer a glimmer of hope for the persistence of life, even in the face of planetary annihilation. The underground habitats would be insulated from the extreme conditions on the surface, providing a stable environment where life could potentially thrive. These natural refuges might become the last bastions of life on a ravaged planet. However, the life that might emerge from this subterranean refuge would likely be vastly different from the rich and diverse biosphere that existed before the impact. The organisms that survive would have to adapt to the new, harsh conditions, leading to a much altered ecosystem. The survivors would be a testament to life's incredible ability to adapt and endure, even in the most extreme circumstances. Section 8. Can we survive the moon's wrath? Given the apocalyptic scale of such an event, it's difficult to envision any realistic scenario where humanity could survive the moon's impact. The sheer force of the collision would unleash energy equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs, causing unimaginable destruction. Oceans would boil, the atmosphere would ignite, and the very crust of the Earth would be shattered. The impact would likely trigger massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, further compounding the devastation. In such a scenario, the survival of any life forms, let alone humans, would be highly improbable. Even our most advanced technologies would be utterly inadequate in the face of such overwhelming cosmic forces. Our current space defense systems designed to deflect or destroy smaller asteroids would be powerless against the moon. The gravitational forces involved are simply too immense. While we have made significant strides in space technology, we are still in the infancy of our ability to manipulate celestial bodies. The moon's impact would be a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the vastness of space. However, this hypothetical scenario underscores the importance of continued space exploration and the development of technologies that could one day allow us to become a multi-planetary species. By expanding our presence beyond Earth, we increase our chances of survival in the face of cosmic threats. Space exploration not only fuels our curiosity, but also serves as a critical investment in the future of humanity. The knowledge and technologies we gain from these endeavors could one day be the key to our survival. Establishing a human presence on other planets such as Mars would serve as a safeguard for our species, ensuring that even in the event of an unimaginable catastrophe on Earth, the flame of human consciousness would continue to burn. Mars, with its similarities to Earth, presents a viable option for colonization. 
the development of sustainable habitats, advanced life support systems, and efficient transportation methods are crucial steps toward making this vision a reality. By creating a self-sustaining colony on Mars, we would be taking a significant step toward securing the future of humanity. While a moon collision remains highly unlikely, it's a stark reminder that we are part of a dynamic and ever-changing cosmos, where celestial events can unfold with breathtaking speed and devastating consequences. The universe is a place of constant motion and transformation, and we must remain vigilant and proactive in our efforts to understand and navigate it. By continuing to explore and expand our horizons, we not only enrich our knowledge but also enhance our ability to protect and preserve our existence in this vast and unpredictable cosmos. Section 9. Conclusion, The Moon, Friend or Foe For now we can gaze upon the moon with a sense of awe and wonder, appreciating its beauty and the crucial role it plays in shaping our world. The moon, once worshipped as a deity, and later explored by intrepid astronauts, continues to captivate our imaginations and inspire scientific inquiry. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos and expand our footprint beyond Earth, the Moon will undoubtedly continue to be our celestial companion, a silent witness to humanity's journey to the stars. However, the hypothetical scenario of a Moon collision serves as a potent reminder of the immense power of the universe and the importance of safeguarding our pale blue dot, the only home we know, we, 